Oh, look at this. It's a beautiful family dinner. It's so nice. So sweet. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's adorable. All right. Well, hold up. Hold up. I want to see how their population is and their social. What about uh, these guys? Is these guys are okay? Yes. Okay. You know what? We're gonna put in more Dilophosauruses of different colors because I've been wanting that. And it looks like we got a fourth one over here that didn't make it. So what is up, guys? This is Dino Gear back with another video. Today I'm here with another Jurassic World evolution. And yes, I know there's been a lot of Jurassic World evolutions out, but I am trying to get through my series. Yes, today we are yet gonna we are yet again gonna do another carnivore enclosure. But this time we're gonna do something. Well, I mean it's, it's still gonna be a pretty big carnivore because. Um, you know, it's like that, but, um, oh, oh, what are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing there? Trying to break out? Oh, you're so close to the fence. I always get nervous when they're close to the fence. I've told you guys this before. Um, oh, no, 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 not that one. So, basically, uh, I am trying, oh, it's already resupplying. Ah, oh, I keep getting distracted. Yes, okay. So, okay, I'm trying to think. I think I know what I want to do, and what I want to do is... Um, not that. So, I've decided, you know what, let's go ahead and do Allosaurus, because why not? We'll do two Allosauruses. Uh, also, I want to check, what are these? These are hatchery capacity. Alright, good, most of them are success rates. What about these ones? I think these are also success rates. Yes, they are, and then hatchery capacity. We are good, and incubation has failed already. <laughs> Oh man, you were so close to 50%. You had to bail on me now. You know what? Uh, I want to change this color anyways. We got two vivids. Might as well change it to this, because why not? We'll do that. And we got a disease? Oh, the poor Dylos. No. Buddies. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well. So. <laughs> the thing is, I have three ranger stations, right? There's two over here for actual emergencies, right? And then there's one over here that I deactivated that's really meant for like the actual tours and I've equipped the ranger team, uh, the ranger vehicles to be the original 1993 Jurassic Park vehicles. <laughs> uh, the, the Jeep, the Jeep Wranglers and um, every time you're close, like every time you try to get a ranger Jeep to do something, like one of those, uh, just a ranger to do something, it always selects the closest one. So in order to get to the ones that are actually activated, I have to go all the way over here and then ask, ask them to do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just that, just a little fun fact. So while we're waiting for those Allosaurus, the new creatures that are going to be a part of this park to, um, you know, do their thing, <laughs> to, to incubate, we're going to go ahead and I, I guess we're going to do it like this. I don't really know how much space they really need. Um, should I do this whole space just for the- Oh, Endoraptor's sick too! Oh no, this poor creature. Oh, and these Dilophosaurus already, already. Damn, that was quick. Oh, this is a Vivid, this is a Vivid. Oh, let's check it. Oh, please be a beautiful color. Oh, it's dark, you can totally tell that. Oh my god, is it- Oh, it is. It's- it's- Oh my god, that's so cool, yes! It's frill, it's purple and red, like the veins all over it. That's awesome, I love that. Oh, it's actually really nice. Uh, no, we're doing this. I'm gonna trank you, and then let's see what. How else are we gonna? How else are we gonna do this? So I don't, don't know how I want to do this. I never really know how I want to do anything. I usually just kind of go in, um, you know, just just full throttle, <laughs> just let's let's do this kind of thing. You know, I never really plan out anything. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is this, because I want there to be like a, an area where the carnivore can go down to like downhill kind of area uh kind of like that it should be steep i like that but this part should be nice and smooth smoothed out there we go that's how i want it this this looks good actually and then what we can do is we could put some water up in here uh but the problem is i don't know anything about the allosaurus as far as this, you know as this game goes so I don't know what kind of forest it requires, but uh, that looks good actually. You know what? That looks good. That looks good. Um, dinosaur ready release. Oh, it's another Dilophosaurus. Okay, I don't think I've seen this skin pattern. I mean, I probably have, but I, I'm very forgetful, so it's gonna be nice. Um, oh, we're on a shadow side, so it's hard to see. But uh, is that like a greenish color, like dark green? I'm assuming. Yeah, it's kind of an uglier color. I mean, I, I guess. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that's perfect for the swamp, actually. That's like swamp color right there. No, that's good. Um, 
That's perfect. We'll go ahead and train you, and then we'll escort you or take you back to the uh, to your new home. Um, one thing I did notice was that um, these guys actually don't have any viewing areas, which is a little bit concerning. But then I just then then I, I figured it out, guys. I, I I can figure stuff out. I did it. So uh, they didn't have a viewing station or anything, but what we can do is we can put them across since that, you know, you can still view them, and especially these ones. So I want this to be like perfect. Oh, perfect. That's actually really good. Okay. So now where shall we have it? We should have it over here. Um, ooh, how do I, how do I want this? Hmm. We'll do it. We'll do the first one like this because I'm planning on having a couple of them. But um, let's see. Mm, perfect. We'll do straight out. Mm, I'm trying to make it like look as normal as possible. I don't think we're ever gonna make it look normal. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna look normal. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, so we'll do the... We'll fix this up. So we'll, we'll fix this up. There we go. That looks better. And, of course... <laughs> great. Three dinosaurs. Perfect. All our raptors. Our poor raptors. Oh, my God, no. Poor things. Um, but, no, this looks good. And then what we can do is... We could put, like, a... Because I'm planning on having, like, enclosures out here... So what we could do is put viewing stations that are facing this way as well. But we'll we'll continue that as we go. But for now, that looks pretty good. I like how that looks. Uh, and I, we're probably going to have to do the same thing here. Um, oh, dinosaur ready release. Uh, is that our Allosaurus? It is our Allosaurus. So let's go ahead and make this enclosure real quick. Yes, finally a new dinosaur that we've unlocked. So how do I want to go about this? Do I want to connect them? Should I connect them? Or should I make this... No, let's not connect them. Let's not connect them. Uh, we'll have like the forest uh, area like kind of hide the fence. And how do I want this? Um, we'll have concrete walls. See, the thing is, I'm not sure if... Yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe. Just in case. Because I, I did this with the Indoraptor, and the Indoraptor was able to, uh, like, basically what I'm trying to say is, like, uh, I'm going to put, like, um, fencings along the boundaries. Uh, I've seen people not do this in their video, in their Jurassic World Evolution, you know, builds uh, when they go to the enclosures. And it works out just fine from what it looks like. But uh, I did it with the Indoraptor recently, and the Indoraptor was able to escape. I think I did a video on that, actually, just last month, I think. Um... Now I'm like <laughs> all paranoid that the uh, if I do that again, like like I did it for the raptors and they haven't broken out. They're just fine. And why are they still okay? This has clearly not worked. Okay. Um, yeah, you didn't finish your job, man. You kind of just left them there. Uh, but you know, it works for the raptor, but it didn't work for the in Indoraptor for some reason. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna play it safe. Might as well. I'm gonna make all this back part just um... here. I think this is fine right here. Um... Ooh, and then we have like a mini enclosure in there of like whatever creature. Boom. And then I'm going to put a heavy steel fence like right here. Boom. This is going to be the hardest part. Trying to like align it parallel to like the actual, um, uh, to the actual pathway, which I love doing, but like it's hard sometimes. Like right now, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, okay, well, um, don't worry, don't worry, it's, uh, practice makes perfect, right guys? How am I ever gonna, like, cause, like, someone like Dr. Henry Wu, man, like, how am I ever gonna do good in his mission? Someone like Dr. Henry Wu, he's definitely a perfectionist. <laughs> oh my god, uh, how am I gonna pass any of his missions if I can't even get the fence aligned right? Yeah, no, that's, this is not working either. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I am such a perfectionist sometimes when it comes to this game, guys. Oh my god, it's just that I've told you guys this before. Like I, I like reimagined my own like zoo when I was I, like I literally thought of like my own Jurassic Park when I was a kid, but like it was just my own creation. It was built the way I wanted it, and I've always wanted to build it in real life in some way or another. So I did it with my toys. Um, 
and I guess I just use my imagination just to build my own park, you know, like, I, I don't know, <laughs> it was perfect, the way I had my park was perfect, uh, all the security measures were met, <laughs> everybody was satisfied with the dinosaurs themselves, and everything was just perfect. Um, and I loved it. I loved my little park inside my own little imagination. It was the best park a kid could ask for, you know? And, like, now I'm just trying to... I, I feel like my goal in this game is to fill myself with that same satisfaction as a kid. Because when I was, like... When I was a kid, I knew what I was doing <laughs> when I was creating stuff like that. Um, oh god, no, that's not what I meant. I did a, I did a doozy. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, fencing, there we go. Um, but now I feel like I don't know crap. <laughs> and I'm just trying to do what I did as a kid. Try to make it perfect. The perfect park. Which, I don't know how I'm gonna do. No, that's, that's good, that's good. I'm okay with that. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, put in some more trees here. Kind of block it off. Yes, yes, look at that. It's gorgeous. All right, I think that's good. They're probably gonna want a lot more. Um, oh, what do you call it? They're probably gonna want a lot more space, but that's why this area is here. We'll give them space if they really need it. But uh, yeah, it looks like they're going on that. So let's go ahead and bring them out. I know it looks like we're only filling it with carnivores right now, but we will put in herbivores soon. But uh, here it is, guys. The Allosaurus, our first time in this playthrough that we're bringing it out. There it is. Oh, it's amazing. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at that. Alrighty, and we've done it. So I'm surprised, um... Oh, wait, I pressed the wrong thing. I'm surprised uh, Finch hasn't said anything about it. So, uh, also, we will bring out the second one. Uh, oh, I didn't get a chance to look at their, um... Oh, what do you call it? Their, um... Like, st status or whatever, synopsis. Yo, a lot of people complain about the Allosaurus and the way it looks, but honestly, it looks so cool. It has to be one of my... Probably one of my more favorite of the Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs. Stigimoloch's definitely my favorite, but I think it's just because I love the Allosaurus, you know? Um, so go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They can't live together. No! <laughs> no, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> Oh no, we're gonna have to sell one of them. No, it's too uncomfortable. Are they both uncomfortable? Yeah, they can only live. Wow, they're very territorial. Um, you know what? Why let this go to waste? Let them fight and the victor will have a better rating. Yeah, and then that can improve our, like what do I have to lose? I literally have nothing to lose because I have no limits. You know, this is this is Diesel New Player, sandbox mode. Let the dinosaurs fight. <laughs> uh, I should probably... Oh, I should have taken them to the arena. That's what it's built for. You know, fuck it. They'll find their enclosure. Although, man, I really feel like I never used that arena. That's why I did that one little fun video with the Indoraptor and the Raptor Squad. Felt like I was being very underused. But, hey, now this means we have a use for the Deinonychuses. Because um, if the, Allos the Allosaurus can live with other creatures. Um, but the thing is... It can't live with other... You know what? I'm guessing when it means other creatures, it could live with other... Um, what do you call it? Uh, carnivores. Maybe smaller carnivores, just like the Deinonychuses. So, you know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll bring them out, too, and we'll transfer them over there. Um, but we've already seen them, so we'll release them. And then we'll have helicopters. Drink them one by one. There we go. No small creatures. Perfect. So, basically, the whole point is to just, like, add in as many creatures as possible in this park that hasn't really had a chance to be in the park in, like, any of the previous parks. So that way, all dinosaurs, you know, th there's, like, all 48 dinosaurs are at least in one park, you know, or, or on one island, you know? But, um, the, th the problem is, uh, I, I feel like you keep filling it with creatures we've already had. Although, raptors actually don't have a place in any other park. And uh, Dilophosaurus do, I think, in Isla Muerta. And I want to say... No, not in Isla Montanceros. Um, uh, no. No, just Isla Muerta last I checked. Sugamimus definitely doesn't have anywhere else to be. Because Sugamimus... Wait, how, speaking of which, everybody is... Everybody's here, so how is everybody doing? Everybody's doing great. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is like the ecosystem I wanted. Look at that. 
Oh, it's a beautiful swamp area. I love it. No, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted and hoped for in this little swamp area. Look at them. They're about to battle it out. Look at that. That's also that's really cool. Look at this image. It's them fighting in like uh like this little island thing. Oh, that's really cool. I like to think of them as like playful brothers that were like raised in um, captivity together and they're just playfully fighting. That's the way I like to see it because I like seeing like playful animals um you know playful uh relate like s animal siblings fighting each other because it's like freaking adorable <laughs> oh my god okay so what color did i make all these guys they're all the same color so uh, and they're gray great this park is a very gray dinosaur park is it oh my god i should have i should have changed that but um yeah it looks like that didn't happen so um I don't know what they actually require because I forgot to look. I'm pretty sure they require a lot of grassland considering they were, um... Well, they did live in the Jurassic era. And if they were trying to be any, like, if they were trying to be scientifically accurate, then they probably would have... I'm pretty sure Allosaurus did live in the, like, I want to say grasslands because I feel like they were too big to be in the woods, you know? Plus, that's not really where their, um natural um yeah so they are gonna need a little bit of forest i feel like they need more forest than they need, maybe more forest than they need grassland but um you know what that's doable i was gonna say i feel like their natural prey were just their prey in general you know like sauropods stegosaurus i mean stegosaurus i mean i guess they could have not stegosaurus basically just anything they could have hunted i would assume were grassland creatures so they need more grassland so Great, now they don't have enough grassland. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll get rid of this part right here because I didn't like it anyways. Uh, you guys happy now? Just barely, just barely. You know what, we're going to shave off a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Make you even more happy. Make you, you know what, we'll make you even happier. We'll shave off more over here. You happy now? You happy? You're getting there. You're getting there. I want to. I want to do a little bit more just in case you have a change of part and you don't want any more grassland. Because the last thing I need you to do is break out. Uh, let's see. Who's gonna be the victor? All right. Well, let's go ahead. They both have the same amount of defense, I think, and uh, combat. So this one has 93 uh, combat, and this one has. I'm guessing the same because you know, yeah, 93 and 30 defense. Okay. Well, let's see these guys battle it out, but. Uh, should we have the... I think we're just gonna go ahead and transfer these guys. Might as well. And dinosaurs are fighting. There we go. Perfect. Look at you guys. <laughs> oof. Oof. Okay. Low health. This one is at... Wow, this one's at 100% health. The other one's already below its threshold, I guess. 33% health. Wow. This second Allosaurus is losing very badly. And it finally took the first hit. Its first hit. And brought down this one... This first Allosaurus to 67% health. Almost down to the threshold. Wow, these guys do some pretty good damage. Um, I think they're going to be roaming because it's going to collect their health. Or, oh no, second Allosaurus has got its, first, its second bite uh, down to 33% health. Uh, it is very, now they're roaming, but this one is very uncomfortable for its you know, comfort levels have gotten down below its threshold. But now they're collecting their health and the victor shall be, uh, you know, the, the one that... What do you call it? The one that gets nursed back to health and uh, oh oh god, I thought I accidentally put it like right at like right um, next to the enclosure, but not quite in it. <laughs> that would have been ugly. And then the di the, the, the Dinonychuses would have just gone crazy and just started killing people. We don't want that. I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't want that. Ooh, that's perfect. Look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Just just look at that. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What? Why is it by the gate? For, for some reason, it's by the gate. It's like, are you gonna let me out? You're not even by the door, buddy. Yeah, no, you're not even by the door. <laughs> you're like, let me out. I don't want to be in here with this guy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no, he's gonna start attacking the fence. Dude, just fight him. <laughs> just fight him. Oh no. Oh, this is not gonna. Oh, I should not have brought these guys in. Oh no. Well, their health would have started going down. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think their social meets their, their satisfaction, huh? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I need to get a fourth one in here. Alright, we need a fourth. Fourth Dinonychus. That's a Velociraptor. Where's the, where's the other Dinonychus? 
Oh, she's got the dinosaur. All right, here it is. It's perfect. All right. Um, oh, damn it. It's another gray one. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is not going to end well. I'm going to go ahead and trank the Deinonychuses. Although, oh my god, if I trank them. If I trank them, the Allosaurs will go for them, I feel like. You know what? We'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens, you know? We'll just... See how this goes, and it looks like they're battling again. Oh, there they go. Guys, why should why should you battle? You shouldn't battle. It's bad for your health. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, this one, let's go ahead and look a uh, better view. Oh, oh, first hit, six, 19% uh, for the second Allosaurus. Oh, my God. Will the second Allosaurus be the victor? The first Allosaurus is, uh, he needs to get a hit in, or else he's definitely going to die. Oh no, oh no, I think the second one has the upper hand on this one. Oh no, the first one's not making a move. Oh, he finally made a move. Second one's also at 19% health. Uh, who will make the final strike? It's just one more strike. Oh, and they're roaming again. God damn it. <laughs> just one more battle, and then, then there'll be... Then, then that's, that's when shit happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, no, they're fine. Wait, are these guys fine? I can't tell if they're fine. Oh no, oh no, 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 helicopter, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, they're fine, they're fine, it was false alarm. Oh, go ahead and put that back, oh god, god damn it, <laughs> the damage has been done. <laughs> I'm glad the helicopters are near though, so, um, oh, are they fighting? No, what? Wait, hold up. No, their comfort levels are fine. They can't battle each other, can they? That was weird. It was positioning up to the Deinonychus. And the Deinonychus is a small creature. It can't battle the... The Allosaurus. Oh my god. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh no, this one might attack the fence. No, this one's just eating. It's trying to replenish itself. I was hoping these guys would have the same kind of relationship that the Tsukumimus have with the Dilos. You know, like look at this. They're showering this dino. Oh, oh no, they're running away from it. I was gonna say I almost said Dinonychus. I was meant to. I meant to say uh, Sukumimus. Oh, it looks like these guys are going for another battle. Ooh, ooh. He's like, hey, you're eating my food. Get away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here goes here goes the Dinonychus looking for trouble. Hey, there he goes. <laughs> can I? How can I not click on this one? Oh my god, this one's at fourteen percent health. I can't click on this one. Oh my god. I can't click on this one. What the hell? It's like a glitch. I click on this one. This one's at 14% health. I'm assuming that this one is also at 14% health. Although I cannot click on him. <laughs> oh my god. Who will be the final? And they're running off again. Oh my god. I can't click on this one. Oh. Oh. Here. Maybe I could do this. There we go. They're both at 14%. Oh my god. Man, if things don't, you know, th things don't get better. <laughs> Things don't start dying. I'm gonna have to trank one of them and, uh, you know, sell them. <laughs> like, like a normal person would have from the very beginning. Alright, the final one. Let's go ahead and get it tranked. Press the wrong thing. Final Deinonychus. That's a good title name. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna name that. I'm not gonna name this video that. This one looks like it's close to. Oh no, this one's, this one's nice. This one's good. Oh my god, 24% health, this one is at 26% health, okay, this is the first time we're seeing a difference in their health, even if it's by only a couple. Oh, are they, they, are they squaring off? Ooh, it looks like they're getting close to, there it goes, there it goes, it's positioning itself. Oh, there we go, there we go, okay. So let's see, this one's at 33% health. Oh, I can't click on this one. Yeah, it's not letting me click on it, so let's see, this one is... Okay, I can't tell. One of them is at 34% health, the other one is... There we go, it's at 32% health. Oh! 12% health for the second Allosaurus. The Allosaurus, number one, might be the victor here if it just does one more friggin' hit. Come on. Nope, and it goes down to 11% health. Oh my god, last hit, guys. Who's gonna do the last hit? You guys gotta roam again like a couple of bitches? You guys gotta actually finish this off. I, I don't know. I think they're gonna roam again. For God's sakes, don't roam. Just do one more hit. Yes! Yes! Second Allosaurus done with the... Finishes off with one more hit and the final blow 
which is boom, bada boom. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Dead. Oh god, that is just brutal. Jesus Christ. No, that is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was your sibling. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what their ratings were before, but let's hope it's high now. It's at 211 now. Look at that. Maybe we can see... Well, this one's at negative 76, so we should probably get this one out of here. Alrighty, take it away. <laughs> That's just sad. Oh my god, and then we got the other Dinoticus somewhere over here. Yes, there we go. We'll go ahead and take this away and put it over here with its uh, new brethren. Um, and forever. Uh, for the rest of their days, the Deinonychuses and the Allosaurus have, re like, uh, what do you call it? They they've lived in peace. <laughs> Please don't break out. <laughs> His comfort levels are so low. But you know what? Because you won that, I'm going to go ahead and name you, uh, let's see, Victor. There you go, Victor. You won. You're the victor of that. And Victor is an actual name, so that works. Uh... Yeah, no, that was the only dead dinosaur. We're good. And so we got other ones, and they're all gray-colored Deinonychuses. Oh, what should I name you? Well, because your thing was D-N-N, -N, I'm going to go ahead and put you as Danny, because I feel like that would be an abbreviation for Danny, kind of, maybe not. Are these guys squaring off against each other? Oh, my God. They are. <laughs> what are they going to do? They can't really do anything. This doesn't make him uncomfortable, does it? No, it's it's fine. It's fine. They're they're fine. Okay, you you persistent little bastard. You just try to fight an Allosaurus only twice your size. I want to name you Jerry, like after Tom and Jerry, because I think you're gonna be t uh, Jerry to Victor's Tom. I, I have a feeling. So we'll name you Jerry. You know, fuck it. Um, and then you, I I can't even get to you. When I get to you, we're gonna name you. Oh, here we go. Um, I don't know what to name you. <laughs> um. Uh, I, I seriously don't know what to name you. But, oh, wait, hold up. I know what to name you. Hi. There we go. Because you're the fourth uh, Deinonychus. Um, if I could... Let's see. Boom. I am number four. I never watched that movie. Well, I did, and I thought it was boring, so I stopped watching it. I never read the books, because the books never interested me. But because you're the fourth one, I'll name you I am number four. Boom. I am so bad with names. <laughs> I, it's gotten to that point where I've had to put a number in your name. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm, I, just I don't know. <laughs> then we have to... We have yet another... Uh, freaking... What's it called? Deinonychus. Oh my god, okay. Um, we're gonna name you... Utah to trigger people. Because... It's supposed to... Cause you would name a Utah Raptor Utah. But because this is not a Utah Raptor and clearly a, Din a Deinonychus, people will be like, that's not a Di that's not a Utah Raptor, that's a Deinonychus. Or at least people who are very scientifically accurate with dinosaurs. See, my knowledge is just impeccable. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution. Other cool dinosaurs stuff I post on this channel. This was actually fun. I actually really enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't... Sometimes I don't normally... Like, no, no, no. I wouldn't say that because I usually love doing these videos. But, like... Like, sometimes I don't enjoy my evolution videos because they're either stressful or just... I, I just... I genuinely didn't like it because there was something absolutely wrong with it. But honestly, it's just one of those days where I'm just relaxed. There's no stress and everything seems to be going pretty alright. So, you know what? I enjoyed this. And if you guys did too, again, leave a like, subscribe. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please, why are people running away? Is there a dinosaur loose? There are people genuinely running. Why? Guys, I think we might have a problem. Oh, and I guess have a nice day. I almost forgot to say that.